Yeah, well, okay. basically what we did I got was, it. I um, called that. There was, there was two microphones positioned, you know, and but these are like, you know, £2,000 microphones, you know, each one. They, they're top, top quality mics, and they were placed, say, about two feet from the guitar when I did the instrumental tracks. And then there was another two microphones right in the four, right in the corner of the room, uh, about three quarters, three quarters from the ceiling, sort of positioned there to get the sort of echo, the ambience. And then what we did was, um, well, it was only well, ever well recorded on a few tracks. We just mixed down um, from each different microphone to get that echoey sort of distance and i and that's that was the only way to get it because you could have done it digitally by but i always think a lot of digital effects sound really rubbish i i think you can get the right sound by just positioning the microphone right and the artist putting in the hours to rehearse the piece enough i mean a lot of Excellent. blues musicians i know look on me as like an ultra perfectionist which i am but they also say that I'm a lot more like a, a classical musician in some ways, in the way that I will constantly rehearse what I call pieces of music. Um, so I approach blues. Uh, well, actually, I approach guitar full stop as someone who's a perfectionist. Well, it shows, and I, I have it, to say I am really impressed by the fact that you also pay that kind of dedicated attention to the technical aspect. I mean, I have met a lot of musicians, not just blues musicians, but rockers, uh, you know, people that have been in the business uh, who don't have a clue about microphone placement and, and you know, the audio ambulance or anything like that. They go into a studio, they just have to yeah. turn it over to the technical guys and say, okay, you set it up and I'll play it. And uh, I, I am really impressed with the fact that you're on top of all of that. And I'm also glad that this show is moving yeah. along so well that we're going to get a chance to slip in an extra song at this point. So right now we're going to roll it over oh. to another track from your new album, end of the line. This is Richie Dave Porter's Hell Yeah, Man! Sounded a little bit of a change of pace from some of the other stuff there. Uh, tell tell us a little about Hell Yeah Man. Where did that come from? Yeah, I was just I, I was having one of those days where I thought I want to write a blues song. I've got these riffs in my head. And usually the riffs or nearly always come before the the words, David. I always I was saying to Sarah today when we were on the the coach heading up to here that you know we were talking about songwriting and things, and I was saying I always write songs uh, chords first. 
you know, the chords, the chord structure. And then the words that are hanging around in my head get fitted to the chords later. But with How Yeah Man I Got the Blues, it was a classic example where I was picking up the guitar and there's this really catchy riff that digga digga dum bow ga dum bow. And I thought, right, yeah, right. That's, that's really something. And then, you know, I slotted the other riffs together with it. And I thought, this is um, kind of up tempo, but I don't want it to be like ridiculously happy or anything. So I thought, I'm going to write the words. I mean, the words are quite downbeat to that one in a lot of ways. The riff's really up tempo and quite cheerful, but. The words, and it's you know, an, I've, it's I've, an got interesting no paradox. Dog, I've got no lover. Yeah, exactly. It's a paradox. I mean, the words are literally, I think I wrote the words when I wasn't feeling the happiest man in the world <laughs> on that particular day. Well, yeah, thinking, they are the know, blues, man. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, yeah, that's it. I was single. I thought, you know, my dog's dead. I don't have a girlfriend at the moment, you know, and woe is me. Hell yeah, I've got the blues. I've always got that. So that's why I wrote Hell Yeah Man, I Got the Blues, basically. You know, a I, rocky little I riff with uh, really depressing words. <laughs> well, that's, hey, it's the blues, <laughs> man. Like the blues are going to be depressing if they're done right. And it's a, it's a beautiful Sometimes, depression, yeah. but, but it's depressing nonetheless. It's and, also uh, positive, that, too, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm and it, saying, it's hell, a, hell, hell Yeah, I've got. It's a catharsis, also. It's a catharsis. It it lets you wash your soul out, and uh, and you bring that out. Now we're going to play one more track here from the album before we run out of time. And this one's a bit of a change of pace again from some of the stuff we've been doing. Tell us about my father. Yeah, my father. That's um, that's a track. Obviously, my father. He he passed away. He died of a heart attack, but he would have died of um, advanced terminal prostate cancer anyway. He wasn't a well man. Um, I loved my dad. He was uh, one of my best friends in the whole world. He was an ex-Navy officer, Wiltshire boxing champion, and he went to hell with, uh, with with all this crap you're supposed to say these days. You know yeah, exactly. Yeah. My dad. Was, I think, we'll, and I'm the same. Yeah, the world would died, be a lot better. So, you know, I'm that. Yes, exactly, David. I mean, I mean. My father, you know, he, he died. The sad thing was I got to the hospital 26 minutes late due, due to traffic jams. Um, so my dad had passed when I got to Solio Hospital. And I just wanted to write a song about him. And I, I was playing it to Sarah the other day. Um, I did like a little concert for her, actually, where I ran through loads of songs acoustically, you know, um, mm -hmm. so she could see what it's like. Uh, before I do like a headline gig sort of thing, because it's always nice sure. and intimate to play to your partner, isn't it? And, and, oh, and absolutely. Just a, a gig. We're going to think about that feeling right now as we play this tribute yeah. to your dad called was a My Father. could say how much today I'm hurting I'm wishing I could talk to you today cause you're gone gone so far away now you're gone So far away, my father. My friend, I really loved you so. My father, you lived your life the way you wanted so. But you're gone. Gone so far away. Gone so far away. 
so far away Now you're gone Gone so far away England. That's Richie Dave Porter from his latest album, which is in the process of being released as we speak. The album is titled The End of the Line. Richie Dave Porter, thank you so much for coming, spending an hour with us and sharing your new album with us. It's been an absolute pleasure, David and John. I've, I've really enjoyed returning to the show and talking about what I think is my best work yet. Entirely welcome, Richie. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, go on out, check him out online. You'll find him on Facebook and check out Richie Dave Porter. Check out his new album, too. It's called End of the Line. There's more music that we weren't able to squeeze into this hour because it's time for you to take us home, John Bon Jovial. Yes, sir. Just want to let you know that the David Bowers Awards is broadcast around the world from the studios of Computer Help USA in Naples, Florida, and from the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona, and we are available for free on Blog Talk Radio, also on iTunes, iHeartRadio, YouTube, Spreaker, and the Amazon Alexa devices. Can you believe that? as well as SoundCloud and MixCloud and wherever great indie music is played. Be sure to click the follow link on Blog Talk Radio page and like the David Bowers on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook and keep up with the show and all of your indie music news. Please be sure to join us next week for the David Bowers Awards, Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern on WRFZFM 106.3, Rochester, New York. That is, of course, Rochester Free Radio and on Blog Talk Radio, Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, and 6 p.m. Greenwich for more great indie music and talk with the artists that make it happen. So until next week, for The David Bowers and Nick the Geek, our wonderful engineer, I am... The legendary John Bon Jovial thanking you very much for joining us today, and we will see you next week right here on the David Bowers Awards.